iconic pastime in the South Sound is quickly fading. Soon, motorized vehicles along Five Mile Drive at Point Defiance Park will no longer be allowed. Just a gorgeous area, yeah. but continued erosion means the risk for landslides is too dangerous. Fox 13's Steve Kiggins is in the South Sound to share how neighbors are saying goodbye to a storied tradition. The Metro Parks commissioned a study, and they suggested that they could erect a retaining wall. Uh, but that would be extremely expensive, also extremely difficult. Another option was to grade the hillside, but that would also mean slashing forests and slashing parkland, not to mention also extremely expensive. So Metro Park says it just seems more effective to eliminate the cars out of the line of danger. One by one, car by car, they came to roll through a slice of history one more time. There's not another place like this around. They stepped to the edge with wonder and bewildered about the beauty and the stunned realization that what once was a staple experience is coming to an end. What does this place mean to you two? Ah, uh, a lot. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked, tears. <laughs> That's just the deep, I've been here for a lot of years, just out there. It's only a five mile drive, it's a short ride, but the memories run deep for so many. Nothing lasts forever. The same forces that shaped Point Defiance now erode its cliff sides, threatening the road and driver's safety. Come Friday, cars will no longer be allowed along this iconic drive. It is part of our operational duty and responsibility to make sure that that erosion doesn't uh, you know, put the public at risk as they use the park. Bikes and pedestrians, they can continue traveling the wooded walk on Wednesday, visitor after visitor snapped one last photo, took one last cruise down memory lane. Sure, I've gone around here since I got the day I got my driver's license, I've driven through here. <laughs> and when the drive ends on Friday, that means the drive now for many is to retrace their steps one last time on Five Mile Drive. The creator gave it to us to remind us of the beauty in life. It is beautiful. And for we can come and find it, and it doesn't cost us anything. We spoke with one man who lives down the coast. He drove to Tacoma both today and yesterday. Also, he can make this drive just one more time. There's also talk of perhaps linking a service road between the closures at Owen Beach and Fort Nisqually, but that's no quick fix. Also, if you are planning to make this drive one more time on your own, you really don't have nearly as much time as you think. This closure begins this Friday. At 2 p.m. In Pierce County, Steve Kiggins, Fox 13 News.